All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here with Survival Living. Um, I've been having some questions about our water transfer pump situation, uh, how we're going to supply ourselves with water in Wyoming. Um, now, I did show this particular product when we first purchased it. We went through Amazon. It is the C-Flow. Uh, it is a water pump. Let me grab it right here. So, this is it. We are going to be... Uh, running some tests on it today make sure everything works this is a 12 volt system here I believe it's got a four year warranty actually so let me open it up right fast alright so we've got some paperwork here application yacht RV <laughs> caravan the yacht got me laughing there guys uh, this is a four-year limited service and warranty policy so yes it does have that now we did purchase the Amazon three-year warranty for this thing this is a screen filter we stand behind all our products with our four-year warranty so it's nice enough all right so this is a 12 volt system we've got two wires coming off uh, open flow 11.3 lpms three gallons per minute amps eight amps max let's see if i get this front part up here for you guys so you can see that pressure 45 pounds all right, do not pump flammable liquids. This is going to be used for water and water only. Now this thing, when I purchased it, it said that it had a pressure switch on it. I'm not really sure. I'm not really smart on this stuff, guys. I'm guessing that is an adjustment for a pressure. Um, but we're going to hook this up and make sure it works with our system. All right, so one of the things that we did go ahead and do already, I went ahead and used half-inch pecs and hooked to our outlets. Well, actually our inlet and then the other one's an outlet for our pump that is the ends here so I went ahead and used half inch pecs and crimped them down for our testing purposes now this will not be used the way it is when we're set up everything there in Wyoming but you know it's easily removed I can always just cut that off and uh, fit in position so let's go and assemble this and I'm probably just going to go ahead and use some five gallon buckets just to have a water source to make sure it can draw and pump and we can just make sure everything works good with our 12 volt system all right so let's go ahead and get this uh, screen in place went ahead and used Teflon tape that is our Teflon we are using right now I'm just gonna do this hand tight so this housing is some type of plastic so is this housing here. I don't want to sit there and crank down on it too hard with any type of wrench. That should be enough. I think I'm going to stationary it like this and just run the lines off of it. I will use our larger, longer hose here for going into the bucket. It's got little ears on it. We're just going to do this finger tight as well. And this will be our outlet. There is arrows on this thing for the inlet. And that's going out. Same with the uh, pump. I mean, the screen here has got an arrow on the front showing the flow. So, keeping that in mind, we'll go ahead and attach this one. And we're just going to do it finger tight. I just want to make sure that everything works using 12 volt. All right, and I think I'll just kick this outward so it sprays out. So I'm going to go mount this just like this right here. All right, so we have our 12 volt hooked up, red positive, black or negative. We've got a five gallon bucket here with our half inch pecs slide that in place now this is just zip tight on this just to see if it works I got the outlet shooting outward so I've got to go inside hit the toggle switch and hopefully everything works I 
All right, so yes, we've got water pumping. And that is running off our battery banks. Now this thing does have a vibration in it, but it looks like we're supposed to be mounting screws down through the frame. So yeah, I am actually very happy about this. So we can definitely use this when we're doing water transfer and stuff in Wyoming. You ever try to film, do a whole bit, and then realize you're not recording? That, that just happened. All right, so that's our water pump, guys. I did some research to make sure I was correct, because it's been a while since I even took a look at this thing. That is a pressure shutoff adjustment screw. Right now, factory is supposed to be set at 45 PSI, so if I have to adjust it out, it's just an Allen screw. So I can adjust that out. Uh, We're going to be using this for our cisterns. Um, there is a six foot vertical lift with this pump, so we can pull up out of the ground six feet. All right, so as long as our cisterns are not larger than six feet, uh, we'll be okay. Now, I have seen above ground storage and things like that that they're piped into the bottom they use gravity to help push the water into the homes uh you know that's a good idea but where the property is the frost line's 50 60 inches deep i don't want any pipes bursting on me sure i could put a cutoff valve right off the tank um but if it bursts at night we want to lose in all the water in those tanks and not even know that it even happened so I'm gonna go over some designs on how exactly we're gonna do this I do I wish I had more of a lift than just six feet um, maybe midway or something like that because I mean we're almost five feet deep just to get out of the frost line so I'm gonna do some more research on how we're gonna do our cisterns I don't want to have storage above ground just because of the snow and the cold that does come to that piece of property out there in Wyoming I don't want tanks bursting all right so we're going to be do, doing a lot of insulation. I don't know, I could probably make above ground cisterns and then build a outside building around it. That'll help with the temperatures to keep the uh, tanks from inside uh, bursting. But anyway guys, um, put it in the comment what you think, some ideas. Uh, I'm always open up to suggestions. Sometimes they're better than mine. Actually, most of the time they are better than my own ideas. So that's what's great about having community here because we are actually able to exchange out ideas and see what works and what doesn't work. But right now, that is our plan with this pump, and um, we'll see. I mean, there might be a better idea out there. So, yeah, definitely hit up the comment section for me, guys. Uh, Till next video, y'all take care. Y'all be safe out there. Um, I'm not going to get into exactly what's going on. Just watch the news. You see what's going on. I really wish that we were already in Wyoming. And had already been building. Uh, my buddy, Alaska Prepper, asked me if our bent spindle on the trailer is what stopped us from getting to Wyoming. Yeah and no. Um, yes, it did stop us and put us in position here. But we were going to have to go somewhere. And I was going to have to go to work before going to Wyoming anyway. I mean, we weren't going to go up in the middle of winter time. And we left in Apopka in February. It was still winter in Wyoming. As a matter of fact, I think it's still a little chilly out there. So I wanted good weather, so we're going to stay here. Now with everything going on in the country right now, we're not traveling right now. We're going to see what goes on with this um, bug, all right? I don't, I don't want to be traveling around right now. So yeah, we are going to be staying in position. We're going through, we're testing out our pumps. We're testing out our solar. We're testing out everything we got to make sure that they are ready to go when we get up to Wyoming. Uh, again, guys, leave some comments for me, if any suggestions y'all might have for us. I do know we have some great subscribers that are in Wyoming right now. Um, please feel free to put in ideas that y'all are doing up there, problems that y'all ran into, solutions you got when we get up there. That'd be great. Um, but anyway, guys, y'all take care.